I got this box of snacks from Snack Crate for a dollar. Is this a Snack Crate review? Are they sponsoring this? No. Okay, but... you need to save them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, okay, so I already know what's inside of it, but I'm going to open it and show you, show the camera, show the viewers. So, the theme for this box is South Africa. I swear, if you make me eat penguin meat, no. I will never forget. No. No. No penguin meat. But it came with these cute stickers, and look at the pink one. Isn't that awesome? I love this one. This is <laughs> the Lay's potato chips with Caribbean onion and balsamic vinegar flavor. I have a feeling I'm going to like those a lot. I know. I feel like we might have to save these for the end, because Let's these are the ones I'm looking forward to the most, actually. Okay. <laughs> Mini cheddars. These are a cheese-flavored snack. But then we have another one. And it's pink. So it is fruit chutney flavored. What is chutney? I don't know. That's... But it still says cheese, but it has the word fruit in it. So I'm scared. Okay. Cheese and fruit is <laughs> not a terrible combo. Right. Apparently that's what they eat in South Africa. So. Hey, don't judge. Different culture. Yeah. So then we get like the candy. So these are... Mm. I like sweets. Original flavored toffee. I think I've had one of these before. Can you Maybe. go to South Africa without telling me? No. <laughs> but I feel like if I, if I, I did... I have to like cut a tiny loop. There's no way that's all going to go in my mouth. I have a small mouth. <laughs> I think I think I can probably like yeah, do it all at once. Look at this. Oh, Look at this. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the trick is to not stack it up vertically. Put it horizontally. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so we got some Cadbury Bourneville dark chocolate. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. I don't like dark chocolate. But... We'll probably eat that one first. Okay. So we have a five star Cadbury bar. It's Cadbury milk chocolate with caramel, soft chocolate in the center, and crunchy biscuits. I assume this is going to kind of be like a Twix, yeah. but with like chocolatey stuff inside of it. Mm. And then, last but not least, a Nestle Tex bar. Yeah, this looks like a. Um, it's a rich, creamy Nestle milk chocolate with Aero Center and filled biscuit wafers. Yeah, that looks like a Nutty Buddy or like one of those Reese's bars that they have now. Yeah, or maybe a Kit Kat. No, it looks but like maybe it, a Nutty Buddy too. It looks more like it, not like a Nutty Buddy. It doesn't look like either. This it looks like a Milky Way kind of. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. So we said we wanted to start with the dark chocolate. The ones. Oh, we should get water. <laughs> yeah, water is a good. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll see that. You're doing weird things in front of the camera. No, I'm not. I'm just being awkward. Is that weird? No. Okay. Now we have water. <laughs> what do you rate it? What? No. Yeah. Mm, standard. Probably like a 4 out of 5. <laughs> probably do it out of 10. But... Oh. 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. Well, it hey, looks like nine. dark chocolate. I would say 9. No. <laughs> it's clean. I'm going to do a 10. Solid 10. <laughs> Set a precedent for this video. Like changing my answers. Half of a piece. Split. That's hard. Nice. Wow. Well, this be mine. You need rest. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Well. It tastes like trash. <laughs> so it tastes like dark chocolate. <laughs> but on a subjective scale of dark chocolate, I don't know if subjective is the right word there, but we're going with it. It's very good dark chocolate. Yeah. It's not extremely bitter. Yeah. The, I'm still waiting for some of the to kick back. That's what I'm thinking. I, I feel like if I had to put a chart to it, right, if there's a graph, mm -hmm. it would be like bitterness, and then it goes up, and then it goes mm -hmm. down. So. Yeah. Very good dark chocolate. If I had to eat dark chocolate, it would be this dark chocolate. Yeah. You need more? <laughs> no, I don't want any more. I'm oh, good. Right. I mean, for dark chocolate, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, personal level, maybe like a 5 or a 6. I don't know. That might be a Personal level, I think I'm probably It's, a it's like I'm indifferent. No, I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. Like, it's good for dark chocolate, but am I going to go out and go to South Africa and buy it, no. Or if you want real rich dark chocolate, then probably just something else, but this is not very rich. It's almost really creamy, so. Yeah. Like, 
it's creamy, but it's also hard as a rock. <laughs> Takes and a minute to melt in your mouth. Yeah, but that's how you know it's thick, and it's actually like substantial like amount quality. of quality. Yeah. All right, let's do the fruit chutney things. <laughs> Should we Google what chutney is? I don't have my phone. I'm not um, It's a spicy sweet sour condiment made with fresh and dried fruit, sugar, vinegar, and chilies. Okay. Mm. <laughs> My coworker at work made a. Uh... That that like literally just sounds like they took like all the words that describe food. Like yeah, it's sweet and sour and spicy mm. and like. <laughs> a little bit of umami. And, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Down. Yeah, it. I smell the vinegar. How cute. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Better than I thought. I don't even taste like, fruit. I do. I you like. Do? I like literally taste all the flavors. So it's really weird. What flavors? Well, just like the fruit and the, it is kind of like slight spice to it, but I was tasting the vinegar, but I also kind of want more. Yeah. <laughs> Those are good. <laughs> Doesn't have any specific flavors. It just says flavorings and flavor enhancers. Almost a little bit like... Sorry, flavor work. What is it? Wor Worcestershire sauce? sauce? <laughs> it's like, almost oh, like... It days of disappointment. Maybe, yeah. It, they almost taste like the all-dressed chips. Of <coughs> crackers. that says not an allergic reaction. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, we have to come back to these. These are good. Yeah, like mm, 10 out of 10, probably, or 9 out of 10. Because like, the out flavor's out not <coughs> overpowering. Mm -mm. 10 out of 10. It's just subtle. I very, like it. Very nice. Very different. Yeah. It's got the airiness and like breadiness of. Yeah. Like almost like the texture of like a honeycomb. It's like a cereal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like. expect you to have been into a honeycomb. Well, no, but. Have you been I, into a honeycomb? No, but I assume that's what it's like. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't really have anything to, like, compare it to taste-wise, so like, it's very unique. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Chocolate. Is there peanut butter on it? No, I don't think so. I don't really know how to rate that, because that, like, it's literally different than anything I've ever tasted. <laughs> mm. Alright. Back to these ones? Sure. Um, okay. eight out of ten. That's good. Yeah. It's kind of like a very subtle... Lesser than this taste. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It was just fine. I don't know. Oh, we saw these. We should probably get these out of the way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to rate food. <laughs> You've either. asked me to do it in a task that's impossible. <laughs> and I don't even, like, I don't want to stick the whole thing in my mouth, but, like, I don't know. Maybe you can break it in half, but. <laughs> this is a stretch. Ooh, it's like a crystal. We're already chipping. This thing's just kind of like, it's a bending metal. Oh, God, I don't even really think you can cut it either. You know, just so it's like it. that. It's <laughs> like a brick. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, oh. careful it's sharp. <laughs> you don't? I can't taste anything. It hit me. Yeah. Like, the top.
toffee one. Um, it almost. Toffee. No, it almost tastes like prunes, but like gross prunes. <laughs> I've never had prunes before. Like I like prunes, but I don't like this. Given that we use. I guess because I think it's made with molasses. I don't think I've ever actually had like molasses, so. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is meant to be sucked on. Yep. It's got back. Yours now. It's nice. It's a nice taste. <laughs> I'm not giving it to you, sorry. No, I know. <laughs> Would you like it? No. Okay. <laughs> um, what next? That so far is my least favorite. I even like the dark chocolate more than I like that. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. I would say so. Okay. Let's give it a six. Because it's not very no, uh, one, chooser friendly. Two. But, two. Two. well, no, because like it's meant to be sucked on, so it lasts a while, so it's seven. But it has a horrible taste, so. I mean, it's got rating that. rating it on taste, not it's toffee. user friendly. <laughs> it's toffee. <laughs> it's supposed to have that toffee taste. Does it really smell like anything? Mmm. Air. <laughs> oh, good. You like those, uh. No. I was gonna say it's kinda like those like Austin like cheese sandwiches, yeah. cheese crackers that you get. But then it's like, also like not that. Like the after flavor is cheese. Like well, it tastes like a cracker. I got cheese first. And then like now I have like the cheese in the back. It's like I was trying to think of a way to describe it and the only thing I get to think of is like a block of cheese sneezed on it. And that's <laughs> where the flavor came from. I need to show you this like funny <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like the fruit chutney one's better. I'm just eh. Yeah. Go for fruit chutney. I'm surprised. These are kind of like, like a cheese kind of Chex Mix that you find at the store. Yeah, but like off-brand. Yeah. Yeah. Like someone took the cheese dial and just turned it down two notches. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. I don't know if you can see the thing. It's like a tunnel of caramel milk. Kind of like a Twix. Kind of like a Twix. But more chocolate. Caramel's still there, but it's very chocolatey. Yeah. So it double or triple the amount of chocolate. This is caramel, right? Yeah. And Twix. That's pretty much what this is. I'm making a mess. Look at your side of the table, like mine. <laughs> See if I can clean it. Yeah, I like that one. It's sweet, it's killing my teeth right now. <laughs> Probably like that one a little more than that one, just because I really like Twix, but last but not least, hopefully the best for last. And I have caramel in my teeth, so I'm not sure. <laughs> no, sure. Alright, it's not no. terrible. No. It smells a little bit different than like sea salt and vinegar. Yeah. It's like a mixture of sea salt and vinegar and sour cream and onion. It's very oniony. I don't know. Well, because it's Caribbean onion. The Caribbean time to do their onions. A lot of flavor. Definitely the most flavorful day we ate. Not bad. Like, seven, eight? Seventeen out of ten, yeah. Seven. <laughs> Is your favorite? <laughs> no, I don't usually my favorite. Well, I just don't know. Wait. This is all we ate. Yeah. Let's see, we should put them in order now. Okay, well, salty wise. One. Yeah, now I gotta go back to these. See which ones I like better. Because, like, how do you compare something that doesn't have as much flavor to something that has more flavor? Like, eating more the less. Mm. Mm. 
Maybe I like these a little better? I don't know. Yeah, so I think these are like tied for first, or do you I would slightly like, like these a little better? I would like to say they tied for first, but this one gets an honorary scoot to the front. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> a good deal for a dollar, man. I think, wait, a dollar? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> you can't buy that here. <laughs> well, no. I got it. They were having a special, so. <laughs> All right, good show. Yeah, good show. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done vlogs in a while. <laughs> nah, I don't do cameras. <laughs> My face ain't ready. <laughs>